Look at the Eric, you picked up some new moves on the North Pole. Yeah, it, oh, I'm so back to be I'm so glad to be back in the sun. The North Pole is freezing. It's very, very hot in the Simi Valley. I mean in the North Pole. Wait, no, what abort? You got a tan in the North Pole. <laughs> it's yeah. like very hot in the North Pole, I promise you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Bad Boys of Pop. I have been MIA. I have been in a bubble. I was filming a television show. I'm so LA. And um and we're done. We all got through the show COVID free. There was over a hundred people on set. We all tested negative and we got through the entire series. So that's awesome. And now I'm back, baby. That is awesome. And I'm so glad you're back. I miss you. We missed you. I miss you um, and today we do have the grab bag. So grab. Yeah. And we have some awesome, amazing special guests. Some you might've seen before. Others mm -hmm. very, very new to the show. Tommy. Do yes. It. So we have, uh, in the grab bag, we're doing a little bit of TRSC action. And this is uh, the Karaoke World Championships. Uh, very, very special episode because we we have the winners. We have uh, uh, Spoiler. We have the, Wait, no, the director, producer, and then we have three of the four winners. So I'm going to bring them all in now. <clears throat> Come on in. Come on. Welcome, everybody. Oh, yes. Hello. Yes, made it. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Hello, you guys. Welcome to the Bad Boys of Pop. It is nice to finally officially meet the three finalists. I've heard so much about you guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It's like a little, um, a little reunion. Even uh, Miriam popped Hi, Miriam. <laughs> she, was, she was a coach and, uh, and judge. Um, so welcome, everybody. Congratulations. Um, I know there's still, I mean, you guys, this, this portion is over the, you, you conquered the U S now it's on to world. So I'm excited for you guys. Garbando totally just freaked out so much. He disappeared for a second. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, okay, I'm out. Oh, that's enough. That's enough. Uh, Wait, I didn't know I had to sing at worlds. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Renee, who was another one of the, the, the really amazing singers from the contest. Uh, Renee, good, you're amazing. Good yeah, to see you. <clears throat> Um, because since I since I wasn't there, I would uh, love to hear how it was for everybody for this and this crazy, crazy intense COVID world and karaoke world championships. I mean, like, go for it. So let's 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 start. Let's go left to right. Let's go, uh, uh, Tamika G, and then Miranda. Okay, hi guys. Hello. Um, Hello. It's been crazy. Um, <laughs> um, first of all, I was ready for Las Vegas. I just want to let y'all know that. But um, because of COVID, um, it's a blessing, though. Josh and Katie, I applaud you and I appreciate you for this platform. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's been amazing. But whew, honey, let me tell you something. These videos, and we got more videos, you know, but. Um, it's been yeah. tiring, but um, it was worth it. It was worth it. Team USA, what do we say? Woo! Let's go. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and Tika, would you mind if you just turn down your audio a little bit, just to where you can hear us, but but we're I'll not getting the, okay. the feedback there. That, that would be cool. Um, oh, okay. I think that's better. Can you, can you still hear us? Okay, I good. Thank you. You. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, okay. And, and then we're going to go to G, Miranda, and then we're going to talk to... Uh, uh, Katie and Josh about their experience a little bit. Um, Garbando, you're up next though. What's up, everybody? Um, well, first of all, thank you, um, Tommy, for having us on. And thank you um, for welcome coming. back to your co-host. And then um, Josh and Katie, thank you for putting on this wonderful, wonderful, um, I would say it was a success. Um, I personally believe that this journey for me was worth it. At times I had doubts, but I feel like it's part of the process when you're going through so many things. And I was going through a lot throughout the process, throughout the entire competition. I, um, Washington, uh, you know this, um, Miranda, you, you, you know the smoke situation we had and almost all you guys, because you're on the West Coast as well, or the Pacific Northwest. So I had a, a serious issue with the smoke. I personally, when I'm around smokers, I just can't breathe. I have an issue. So I had a week and a half where that was, a moment where I felt like, you know what, I'm over this because just this is too much to get videos done or even drive 
uh, to get the videos done, an hour to and fro, so two hours drive, or sometimes maybe not so much, uh, so much. But it was a difficult, long, exhausting journey, but it was worth it. <laughs> awesome, awesome. And uh, Miranda. Awesome. Well, um, I don't really have a reference point to compare this to anything else because my very first singing competition ever was the home show in Seattle, which happened like Damn. February and then COVID happened. So my way of coping with COVID was to just sing every night, usually with that the piano that's behind me, um, just plunking away and taking vocal lessons. And so when a contest came up, I was like, great, structure, goals, awesome, I'll join, yeah. we'll see what happens. And uh, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, congratulations. Yeah, it, it, it's okay. like it was a perfect fit for you then, right? I The timing worked out. Um, I'm still, like, I've still got lots of technique things that I want to work on and songs that I want to learn and stuff I want to do. And uh, this pushed me to have to produce content that I wasn't necessarily ready for. Um, and it pushed me to learn things that I don't, I don't know anything about sound engineering or taking a video. I don't know any of that. So it pushed me to learn that real quick. And sometimes that's, that's, what that's, what it takes. that's what it takes, you know, a, a little kick in the pants, like you have to get it done. Okay, time to get it done. Um, quick shout out to another one of our coaches slash Ooh, Mike. Hi, hi, everyone. Hi, hi. Okay. Um, all right, so let's hear from from the, the captains of this ship, Katie and Josh. Oh, Capitan. Hey, Captain. Hello. <laughs> oh, Captain. Make you <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> uh, so this has been a, a crazy year because this is not how we originally planned the karaoke world championships at all. So some of you may not know this, but before this year, for 16 years, we lived in Seattle, Washington, mm -hmm. and we lived there and had a life there and had a business and created uh, yeah, everything there. And we started throwing this competition in 2017 in Las Vegas and having to come down here for production meetings and all of the people and things. We were like, you know what? We're going to keep having to go down there to throw the show. Let's just move there. So we moved here last year to be able to throw our 2020 finals in our hometown wow. and, and then couldn't yep. then didn't do it and then <laughs> couldn't so we're like if anyone to me i was ready for vegas too yeah right i mean <laughs> bringing people and part of it to me honestly is is like miranda said it's about setting goals having opportunities providing an experience for a lot of the singers when they come to vegas it's the first time they've left their hometown it's the first time they've sang on a stage and so i like being able to provide that experience and opportunity we find great stages yep. You know, we do what we can do. And so we we moved here partially to scout the stages, to have the places, to do this year's nationals, have after parties, and then after the – all of it, and then <laughs> and yeah. COVID. Yeah. <laughs> so. and, what, and what's funny, Miranda, is that you talked about the first thing you've ever done was the home show, and the home show isn't wasn't a regular – karaoke world championship event no we did it as carpool karaoke so they inside actually a car. literally got inside in a car. a car and sing their songs and that's and i have actually a vi I, sh I wish i would have pulled that up i have video of that of her performing in the car <laughs> no yes, I do. I do. <laughs> this year's been different on, on a lot of different levels and so um i don't know yeah. i'm 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 proud of the way that we were able to still pull off a very almost normal season as far as finding the talent, talent from all over the country, bringing them together, creating the network, people who've met new people through this, learn new songs. Yeah. Um, all of that still happened and it happened through the power of technology yeah. and, and through, you know, the power of some really great coaches putting their, their, you know, faith in us basically yeah. and that that we can still do this in a year where everyone's willing, ready to give up. It's hard. It was really hard to think of a future. To think of, all right, we're going to end 2020. How is that going to look? How, are we going to go? Are we going to go to Toronto? Well, then that got canceled. Okay, it's going to be video. How do we train our singers? Do we do it through a stage show to train them to put in a video entry? 
That just seemed like the and wrong now way we to have, go about it. And now we have 25 days to get a video. Yeah. The videos done. Yeah, we have a closing date of when yes. the window closes to put our videos in. <laughs> Only one, three. Two, five days. So they did take yeah, one off. Three. They so took one three. off. They were like, we're just going to do three. Rounds. And we already told us to start making a list. Make your short list. Make yeah. your long list. Make your dream list. We're going to look at all of them. But that's, be- that's better than the last week where it was like two videos in like a day or two. <laughs> right. <laughs> that was, exactly. But they, they can do it. So exactly. like now, Look like there's that. way more than enough time yeah. and, and they have a <laughs> huge selection of, of songs. That, yeah, absolutely. I recognize Sometimes that last name. Many choices. That's my mom. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Your mama g- given uh, Josh and Katie some kudos on putting the show together. Excellent work indeed. Yeah. Um, one, of, one of my big theories in life is the catalyst effect. And if it's something that gives you an initiative or pushes, it's the right combination that pushes you to drive yourself to maybe get back into music again or to see yourself as maybe a different kind of artist. To me, that is the biggest part of what this is about. It's, you know, it's fun to compete against people from around the world and meet people all over. But having people have a reason to go and you know what i'm going to go get, i'm going to borrow those chandelier earrings that chris hoffman has yeah. <laughs> and, and i'm going to work them yep yep <laughs> things like that giving people a reason to dress up i stood in finland next to him dressed as a giant blue I, genie I was there was gen- no I was dressed reason up for as that the genie in other finland, than yeah. Z, so. i am currently not wearing pants so <laughs> <laughs> i'm not sure what kind of costume that is but but hey it's uh, <laughs> speaking uh, of videos um yeah. i know that you brought uh, a handful of, of clips and, and Eric, you, I don't think you've seen. I have not. No, I have not. So oh, just am... bubble wrapped. Introduce our folks here. Um, I saw it in here a second ago. Hold on. Just... Re- bring it, bring it back there. Okay. All right. There. So let me add this here. All right. Yeah, girl. Hey, what is, what is, we'll just catch a little bit, just a little bit of everybody. Yep. Uh-huh. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Just leave it like that the whole time. Yep. <laughs> uh... <laughs> the thumbnails are great. All right, I'm gonna play like 10 seconds each clip because Facebook is not nice, and I know it's getting streamed on Facebook, so we do not own the rights to these songs or anything. And uh, we're gonna play 10 about 10 seconds, so don't get mad if it's under 10 seconds. All right, all right, here we go. You play your life away, you let the people see just who you wanna be, and every night you shine. You I'll put up with the cheating, bring myself a cup of tea, we'll stay until you see me, half past eight and not a peep. Except the clock tick tock and sleep. Oh, 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 love is on the way. On the wings of angels, I know it's true. I'll get over you. Love is on the way. And time is turning the pages. Mm. <clears throat> yes. Uh, you guys yeah. better sing. So it, you guys it, it, sounded uh, incredible. You guys, you that, that I don't know what happened, but that smoke gave us some texture or something. You guys sounded incredible. <laughs> I, my, I think the question for each and every one of the finalists is, is you know, being on this new platform, um, how did you guys really go about um, choosing the song that you really wanted to showcase your voice and the journey of how you wanted to go to sh- uh, to showcase your brand of, of who you would be as an artist? And again, uh, let's can we go left to right again? Just, yeah, uh, we can. Okay. So to be, you, you've muted yourself. See if you can unmute. Sorry. No worries. <clears throat> um, so, um... I'm going to be um, very honest Great. and say that I did not have a strategy. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, number uh, one, she's our top singer overall and this year. no strategy. Oh, awesome. Congratulations. That works. That works. Just I just sing. pick songs that I um, felt I could um, sing well, you know, songs that I've sang well in karaoke mm-hmm. you know, over the years. And um, yeah. And I just tried to give my best performance. 
Well, I mean, from the the two second clip that I saw, I mean, I was very very impressed. Um, I guess it was just more like you know, like this is so cliche, but you know, when when people go from uh, from you know theater to screen as an actor, they have to tone it down, right? They're like, because when you're on stage, you want to perform to the back row. You know, right. to where you, when you're, um, you know, an actor in front of the camera, you just, you know, act to the camera. That's that's your scene partner. You know, was that challenging for you? It wasn't. <laughs> you're like, no, I got this. I mean, yeah, <laughs> great, awesome. It's good for me. It's like I feed, like, because you know, you know, I cannot walk into a place where there's karaoke and not sign up three hundred times. You know what I mean? So it's like because it's just that camaraderie. It's just really you know, it's that like you know, it's it's, it's kind of like you know, peacocking a little bit. So, you know, um, I was just so interested having it just to be in this like intimate. Place. I think the advantage though was that we were able to do as many takes as we needed to before awesome. submitting it, you know, yeah. so we can make sure we had that right balance before submitting. So um, that definitely played, you know, to our, you know, advantage. So, but I mean, it was, it was fun. I, that's good, all I good, good. Tiring, but fun. <laughs> G, how was your experience when it comes to having to perform in front of a small box instead of a, you know, crowd? You're 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 muted. She's good now. Let me tell you, I um, like to make. I, I didn't have a strategy. I was just relying heavily on the fact that uh, I like karaoke, and there was an opportunity for me to sing. I have no like, you know, background in like music. I I am not a professional singer. I don't have like vocal lessons or anything like that. That's all just on also, the net. Like, YouTube. <laughs> That's all on the Natch. The Natch. Yeah, the Natch. Yeah, it's just all, all natural. Right. So I am I'm happy for that. I'm throwing YouTube. my shoe at you across the room. <laughs> I rely heavily on YouTube and on, like on the advice of um people like Josh and Miriam and Tommy and stuff like that. You know, and my teammates. But for me, it was. I, I feel like I played it safe because we were locked in on Monday with a song. And because of like, with regard to the smoke, for example, I didn't want to select anything too difficult or having to learn anything new and then struggle throughout the week to having to produce something really good. So I I, my, I guess I had a strategy of playing it safe, which I guess it worked because uh, I'm here, but I wanted to do songs that I either I already knew or I could connect to. If y'all know me, I, I'm not necessarily an extrovert or an introvert, I'm smack in the middle. But when I sing, I'm an introvert. Y'all, I close my eyes I, I, for obvious reasons. I have emotion to express myself by emotions. But I also close my eyes because I feel like I'm most secured on stage that way. I feel comfortable when I close my eyes. And so it was a struggle when it comes to performing. Because while you're on the stage live, it's it's easier to do that and get away with it. But on the... Um, on the camera, the video version of it, you have to, in order to score points, pay attention to the, the camera, look in the camera. And that was a struggle for me. And it was an obvious sign of growth for me as well. Because if you look back on when I started to my videos at the end, you will see the signs of improvement thanks to um, my coach and other people who made And other people. You, but yeah. you came a long way as far as that goes. For <laughs> absolutely for sure. 100%. Yeah. So, yeah, it was it was challenging. But I, I loved it because, like I said, I wanted to challenge myself. But at the same time, make sure that I was doing the right thing to remain in the contest. And uh, Tommy can tell you, there were like moments I felt like that was the end for me. I was on my own will or it was feel like it wasn't 100%. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to singing. And so if I have something that is not to my own liking or standard, I don't feel comfortable submitting it. And so I had two of those videos and I felt like I was about to walk away. Josh knows this, but um, mm. I got one good advice from Ian. Ian said throughout this entire competition, you were your fate was being determined by the coaches. Why not allow them to continue to determine that fate? And so I continued. And here I am. So thanks, Ian. <laughs> That's awesome. Beautiful, beautiful. Ian's got all the good, all the good quips. Yeah, all the, the good best quotes. quotes. Yeah. That's a good sound yeah. bite, apparently. Uh, Miranda. Uh, all right. Let's bring yeah. It. Well, um, there certainly has been some strategy in my song choices, but a lot of it has been guided by just what am I interested in? Um, so this year, getting into singing for the first time, like getting deeply into singing um, and like actually taking lessons and sitting at the piano and chunking out things every single night. Um, you know, my, my big focus has been mostly musical theater and doing musical theater type of songs. And I, I think I'm the happiest when I'm doing some kind of a, a character or something that's kind of funny, um, almost making fun of myself. That's, that's kind of 
what I've discovered I actually enjoy doing. Um, my and that that back- coach's choice, the the Miriam <laughs> choice, that I mean, that blew everyone away. That really allowed you to explore those different characters and those different musical styles um, in one neat little package. So that really yeah. showcased at, like all the all the fun. You know, that was that was amazing. Yeah. That was she amazing. hit the ball out of the park. Sorry, I should not use sports references because I don't know them. Sports but ball. yeah, she really nailed it <laughs> um, when she picked that song for me because, um, you know, she she heard that I had this higher register that I could use. And she she knew from working with me, I was like, yeah, I'm, I sing jazz, um, usually with musicians like at a jam, not very well rehearsed or like you know me and my ukulele I, I sing jazz um and then i've been working on musical theater so learning this new genre and then she was like well i bet you could do opera uh, and i was like uh uh, uh how <laughs> exactly <laughs> um, so uh that was that was a stretch to be able to hit those notes and how oh, actually wait, that's a stretch sound. did you feel that did you feel that eric I sure did. Oh, oh, yeah, Mr. Stretch it's, over here. <laughs> it's, my, it's my real. It's my real last name. People think it's fake. I'm tall and flexible. Go ahead. Not about oh. me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that part of the strategy was all Miriam, um, and then the rest of it was like I was just like, oh, let me pick a song that I can actually do vocally and be able to pull off something that is so difficult, like a girl in apartment at 14G. Because mm-hmm. I mean, that song is <laughs> that like song I've is got like. I maybe got three takes of that song in me per day, just because you try going. <laughs> I, you try it. <laughs> I, I have. I have. Hold on. Hold on one second. I'll get there. No. Okay. <laughs> so uh, that yeah. song is, is very, very, very challenging. I've coached a lot of a lot of people on that song because you know I, I've done musical theater. Um, I've done a few Broadway shows, but um, hey, <laughs> tell me all about that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I've definitely heard how what a challenge that song is. So I'm glad that um, Kim, with right, Brenda, Miriam. no, wait, no, Miriam. Miriam. Yeah, I'm glad she have to do with that because that's a beast. So excellent. Well, you guys, I mean, you guys all sound so incredible. I'm very, very impressed just from like the the um, small amount that I've seen. And we're not yeah. sure what Grant's uh, strategies were, but we know that he 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 can sing his butt off, and we're just so oh, he really tried to punt that racket <laughs> over the field posts. <laughs> he, <laughs> punt, yeah, the punt the racket. I love the, tennis. First of all, what a great tennis reference. He was he was going for the the three point touchdown uh, <laughs> goal. Yeah, um, <laughs> you guys, uh, you know. With the four of you going to the competition, um, I, I don't I don't think the team could I don't think there are any variations that could be much stronger than what 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 we've got here. So I'm very proud of all you guys um, m- go out there. Make us proud. We got uh, another one of our uh, judges, JC. Uh, um, we really uh, we really appreciate you guys. And um I I, I, I want to keep this fairly short because I know you guys are busy and getting ready. Uh, and but- you guys have been working so hard and getting all these songs. I just, you know, <laughs> you, you did it. <laughs> You're not done. They're You're back to work. work. You're back Mom. to work. We'll check. Katie, Katie, Katie and Josh. A couple days to rest and and we haven't gotten back to it yet. And so now that's, we what I, yeah, that's, that's what I was going to ask. If you guys um, want to briefly kind of give a rundown of what they can expect. Where's that, Where's that, letter? Letter? Where's that letter? Close this out. All right, so there's going to be three songs. There used to be four at Worlds. They have yeah, cut it down to three four. because we have 25 different countries. Yes. 25 different countries competing. And each country is expected to bring potentially four singers. So they're 80, looking at about 80 something. 80 to 85 singers for Worlds. Yep. And um, it's going to be a show. You think the talent you saw here. Yeah. Uh, so Mon- let's go. Let's go more. <laughs> so on Monday, November second, yes, is round to Wednesday well, the fourth. Yeah, this is different though. No, that this still that still says the dates. The oh, that's a, no, that's not the judging. Schedule. Oh, see, that's a that's a. I'm looking at the we wrong have, things. We have different. There's different schedules for how it's going to yep. play out because they're actually like ours. It's videos, so the coaches mm-hmm. are going to judge the videos, and all of the countries are going to judge the videos. And then they'll be done in a live. The semifinalists will all be released in like a live format, like we did. 
So there are our timelines for all that. We're going to be posting that. And there's going to be some different things that they can do that they couldn't do before. So what we, what you guys can do is you can actually master your audio as long as the same take as the video. So if you wanted to take that and do them separately, well, but at the same take, the same yes, take, yes. But Which then you want to it master together. it a little bit better and then piece it back together. You can do that. Um, the the video size when we send it has to be under half a terabyte. He's going to do or, it the yeah, or half a gigabyte, so it has to be. And we will be megs. working with all of you on submitting your the songs, videos. Can only sure be seven in. minutes or less. That that is That's, a piece. Yep. Seven minutes or less. Um, There's there hasn't been a timeline in a while, so the seven minutes or less is a, is a new addition this year. Yeah, and they can't wear any brands or logos, which uh, we already said. Yes, yeah, and nothing and nothing that would be seen as inciting a a uh, negative message or a hate filled message. So if you have anything in your in your background or you're filming and a rally goes through, you might need to yep. stop filming. So and just so to let you know what the prizes are for this, by the way. There are prizes. There are prizes. There are always prizes. The, the world champ's gonna win a hundred and fifth hundred 1,500 euros, euros in cash, which means it's going to be worth more than $1,500. It translates right. to the me, uh, gold medal, sponsor prizes, and then also trips, flight and hotel, covered to the KWC 2021 finals. So you'll be flown to the finals next year. The champion then goes back to hand over the title every year, which is always fun. The second place singer is going to win a thousand euros plus sponsor prizes and a silver medal. Mm -hmm. The third place will win a bronze medal, five hundred dollar euros, and uh, and sponsor prizes. And then there will be a viewer's choice. Yes. But all the top singers will top ten singers will win sponsor prizes to win that final round. There'll be there's going to be a way for people for your friends and family to vote, and then there'll be a viewer's choice. They've done that every year and had something in place. And for that. then the other thing that's different is that we actually but wait, there's more. But we get to send judges to this, so we yes. can bring our ten judges, or maybe Eric. Yes. Actually, if you want to do it on this one, that would be great yes. to have you. Since we you know, get we get to provide a panel for the the world judge, where normally they have a few different people that are selected from around the different uh, partner countries and other countries. This year, the countries actually kind of get to judge each other. We don't get to judge the U.S. though. Yep. We don't judge our own singers, just like we didn't have our coaches judge their singers. Um, but we'll get to judge all the other. Countries, I mean, you can so still judge them. We're going to develop you want. a panel. <laughs> <laughs> like, respectable person is right behind their back. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. They're used to the Wednesday check-in judging. Exactly. So. <laughs> exactly. All, all everyone. But right. yeah, they're 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 now yeah, so, I mean, they so already now know what to do that, though. in that way. Yeah. But but a lot of it is the same. And the live show, I'm sure, will be Michael Yelvington will be hosting it. Yep. And it'll be very similar to what we've seen in years past for those that can't go to Worlds and watch it live uh, through the live streams. In this year? If Everyone you guys to go to yeah, Wales. so nobody's left so behind after this year. Yeah, so <laughs> all the countries can get in this year via with their visa, so they can all go because right? every year we always have a, we lose a country or right? two. Somebody gets stuck at a border, visas or some borders. issue. But the other thing is, our champs actually this isn't the last year. So usually you win and then you're done for a couple of years until you can get reinstated uh, until you can compete again. This year, after this year, they can come right back because yes. because why? Because, because COVID. COVID. So <laughs> they wanted to make sure that they have that experience because this is a yeah, way different experience different. than being on that world stage yeah. with and meeting everyone. But you're still going to make that family. And it's still good to singers. have like to still have this as, in, you know, be able to have the experience. But it is different than being in person, you know, as those that have done it. Like, Miranda, you haven't had the, the Vegas experience to compare it to. But for those that have previous years, the Vegas experience, it's like band camp times 10. So with and a family reunion, throw that in there at mm -hmm. the same time. Mm -hmm. Plus a little plus a little bit of like, you know, some odd dating show. It gets weird. Yeah, yeah, we, it gets yeah, amazing. Yeah, so. That's true. <laughs> I've gotten so many marriages out of the yes. KWC, both worldwide and yeah, also Di Diane national. and Jane, Diane and James Bueller. They, uh, well, they we have a gold medalist uh, gold uh, who who yeah, won, so who then married. You never a, know one, what's going to happen. One guy from nationals. Finland. And uh, That's right. yeah, she moved yeah. from Panama to Finland and they're married now. Yeah, I love boys. Your Astrid. It happens, yeah. I'm just saying, but uh, changing lives in so many ways. Exactly. Yep, exactly. Yep. And, and is all this information going to be at kwcusa.com? Eventually, yes. Okay, yes, we, I have, we uh, were finalized. We actually just I have to dropped work a today, shift tonight, yeah. and so it will all be there uh, after I 
probably work and get some sleep and then put it there tomorrow. And I believe right now that Brazil is watching. Uh, there's I, I tagged a bunch of that in Indonesia and like a bunch yeah. of the other countries that are and part lot, of and a lot of countries. Well. Yeah, a lot of countries have had their finals already, and there are a few that that are just over these next couple of weeks coming to their finals and picking their winners. So, but we're gonna wait until the very last day to make our videos and turn them in, right, team? Because I think we should wait till that last minute <laughs> to submit it. Mm -hmm. I think that's the yeah. Best the uploading. Don't worry about that. We'll do that with ten minutes left. The we'll very last. Minute. Yeah. Every week, every <laughs> week, a half hour to deadline. That sounds like my nightmare. Like oh, literally, try directing, just waiting for it to go. Like, go, go. About it's not working. Why left. did you wait like, until fifteen minutes before the? It deadline? still says three hours. <laughs> like, okay, oh so, so the moral of the story is: <laughs> let's not pro procrastinate getting these in. Correct. Correct. Um, get those lists in. Get that. And those lean song on your ideas. coaches. Lean yeah. on. Uh, lean on. All the people who have been involved. Go to JC. Go to Ian. Mm -hmm. Go to the people who have all been part Chris, of this. Chris, Miriam, Michael, yeah. Eric, to help find Eric online. Go to me. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> Eric's back from the North Pole. And oh God, it was so warm, cold, cold. It's cold. <laughs> um, any any last uh, last bits of advice, Josh and Katie? <clears throat> have fun. Yeah, sing enjoy, from your heart. Enjoy the experience. Share your story, share your song, share what you mm -hmm. want with the world. That's to me, that's the best part of this platform is that each individual singer gets to do that in what that means to them. And so don't stress about it and don't give into drama. Yeah. So okay. Stay positive. And, and then we'll go through the contestants really quick. Uh, to me, get any last comments? Um, no, I'm just excited. Um, oh, let me turn my bit volume. I'm just excited and um, a little nervous, but more excited um, <clears throat> but at World um, with the rest of my team. And like it. let's do it. Okay. Uh, and Garvando? Yeah, I just want to give a special shout out to uh, the other judges and coaches, especially the ones who really reached out uh, across the aisle to make sure that, you know, um, even after the competition, you still have contact with them. So like people like Miriam, um, she knows how to identify certain things that you might be looking for. You can find it in your own self. Uh, so that uh, coupled with people like Tom, Tommy, for me, was a blessing. So now that the competition is over in a sense, I hope that that continues because it was a, it was huge help. Um, and uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody, including the uh, producers and uh, awesome. director. Spoken like a true champ. And, and I, I do have a, I do have a little bit of a surprise coming up here at the end, but uh, Miranda. Well, yeah, um, I I feel like I also need to jump on the like thank you train of just like there are so many people, uh, Josh and Kate, all of the judges, all of the contestants, and like all of the people who like have made a community out of this competition, just like bringing their like talent but also their appreciation of each other like it's just so fun to watch each contestant bring them whole, their whole selves to this process and i just i'm in awe of all of you honestly like i'm like looking up to g and tamika and I'm grant and i'm just like oh my gosh how am i like one of you like how is this happening so um i just want to say absolutely thank you for providing this platform and let's get it Awesome. Bring home the gold. <laughs> Speaking of Grant, surprise, surprise. Yay! Watch Yay! out for the tree. <laughs> How's it going? This is so hey, dangerous. Oh, we're right on the road. I, so Grant, I, I just briefly wanted to bring you in. Everybody was just kind of giving their 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 closing comments about uh, uh, their experience. There was mostly cut. It was mostly a love fest, a kudos fest. Um, but we did play a little bit of every stuff that we got to see the performance. Thank you so much for hopping in here uh, at the end and surprising everybody. Uh, just in, any closing words for folks um, looking, uh, as you guys head to Worlds? Thank you to the coaches, to Josh and Katie. They were fantastic. They worked their butts off for us. <clears throat> and that's the coaches and Josh and Katie. Um, thank you for... Um, getting us to this point i'm kind of excited about a little bit of a rest um fantastic yeah, job. Due october 20 yeah, 20 yeah 
They're do the 26. We have 25 days now. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> you missed uh, that part of the earlier fan, show. Fantastic. Three, though. Three, three, three not four. Champions. Um, let's go get that gold. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I want to thank all you guys. Uh, it's been a crazy ride. You guys are still on it. I'm excited to see what happens. Um, super excited for all of you guys. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take you guys out, and we're gonna we're gonna Eric and I are gonna close the show. But thank you all so much for joining yes. us. The, thank you so much for for coming on, and um, really good luck. Break lots of all the legs, and bring home that gold. Best of luck to everybody. Thank you. We love you guys. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye guys. Took um, me a minute. What a talented, talented <laughs> bunch. Super talented bunch. Um and uh and humble too, which yeah. I think is awesome. Yeah. Excellent. So looking well, Tom, forward thank you for bringing them on and congratulations to you for getting through the karaoke world championships and having an awesome team. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations on getting yourself back from the North Pole uh, oh, cool. in 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 one piece with Thanks. a tan, with a tan. So uh, <laughs> excited excited for you, and uh, uh, best of luck to Team USA. You guys go out there and get it. Um, and remember, no matter where you are in the country, in the world, uh, times are weird. So remember, people might be going through some stuff. Give them a little bit of uh, extra leeway, and um, you know it may be hard at times, but but. Breathe, breathe. Look up, just look, breathe. look up one another. And um, as always, remember, we love you. Bam. <laughs>